Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Marissa Monroy. If you're a nonprofit in Austin, you're going to want to hear this. The City of Austin's Economic Development Department is providing more help to nonprofit organizations facing hardships because of the pandemic. The Austin Nonprofit Relief Grant Program provides up to $20,000 to eligible organizations. Applications are open now through Friday, October 9th. The city awarded 221 grants this past July. An estimated 2.4 million is available for this next round of grants. To learn more, visit atxrecovers.com. The city's Eating Apart Together initiative has distributed nearly half a million meals to people experiencing homelessness over the last four and a half months. Since COVID-19 hit our community, multiple city departments, Travis County, nonprofits, and faith-based partners have worked together to provide Austin's community experiencing homelessness access to food, water, and hygiene resources. In addition to the meals, volunteers distributed more than 120,000 bottles of water, 14,000 gallons of water, 10,000 masks, and seven pallets of food for pets. If you'd like to learn more about this effort, visit austintexas.gov eat. City leaders want to make sure you're counted. There's still time to complete your 2020 census, Austin. Every 10 years, the census aims to count all of the people living in our country. Your response helps our community secure billions of dollars in federal funding for schools, local roads, transportation, health care, emergency services, and much more. With every person counted, our neighborhoods receive more than $1,500 per person per year to support our community needs. With COVID-19 exposing even more funding challenges, your participation is more important than ever. The deadline to participate is September 30th. Complete your census by phone or online today and support your community. Even though the number of COVID-19 cases in Austin has slowed down, teams have been working hard at the Austin Convention Center, setting up an alternate care site to house COVID-19 patients if hospitals become overwhelmed. You ready for some R&R? &R? One of the biggest reasons for an alternate care site is to help alleviate that stress and that burden on hospitals. As we saw up in New York City, uh, very on in the outbreak, their medical system became severely overwhelmed. So the idea is if you build a, a, an alternate care site like this, the hospitals then can transfer patients out of their hospital systems to here and then leave space in the ICUs for the patients who really need it, those who are on ventilators and need, you know, 100% oxygen. Each patient would be provided with an iPad and a set of headphones. We also have two locations set up that will provide emergency care if needed. They would take the patients over there, they could perform triage and try and get the patient stabilized before they would transport back to a hospital. Can you tell me your name and date of birth? This whole process from the very beginning, we started in early July um, to where we are now. It's probably been about two months or so of uh, around the clock work. The alternate care site and, it, and its setup has certainly been amazing to see what we've been able to do with as limited resources we've had. Everybody's been burdened by COVID and so everybody's competing for the same resources. But the work that we've managed to do here at the alternate care site and potentially take up to 250 people in the initial phase and provide the resources and the level of medical care that we can here at this facility uh, has been impressive. Fortunately, we haven't needed it. The hospital systems have been doing fairly well for the Austin region and so this still is just kind of an interesting policy of it doesn't take very long for us to reach those critical levels again um, and flu season is coming up so we just never know what's around the corner and so we want to stay prepared and vigilant and continuing to refine that process for any future hazards that may happen that's it for this week's city view thanks for watching Austin be sure to catch up on all of the latest information on atxn.tv our social media channels and on our dedicated webpage austintexas.gov slash COVID-19. Stay well, Austin.